Hey heroes, Isaac Zephyr here, and welcome to Agrarian Skies, the only series that goes good with smooth jazz. I don't know, I wanted to try something different. Anyway, uh, welcome back. As you can see, I finished kind of that uh, tree orchard I was working on, though I'm currently stripping it of trees. Just waiting for them to grow and then uh, gathering them up, because I am done with oak wood for the moment. I might need it in the future, and we can always replant things. We've got plenty of saplings, but... I do not need them growing constantly. It is driving me insane having to constantly cut them down. Uh, anyway, since last episode, I have taken some time, just done some things. It hasn't been a week like last time, it's just been a couple of days. So let's show you more or less what we got done. This is still this. I figured out how to get that working, and I will probably extend this house this way at some point to actually incorporate this into the building rather than having to come back out here to... Uh, figure all this junk out. Yeah, state is off. If I turn this on, I can make steel. Don't need any steel at this exact moment in time. Made our aqueous accumulator, just to finish that and get exactly where we were. Well, not exactly, I still need to do some other barrel-based stuff, but I'm lazy. I'll do it later. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Which, you know, we'll need wood, but like I said, lazy right now. I want to get to doing some other stuff, because I'm we're pretty comfortable with this method of living right now, just cutting down our own trees. I want to get to the point of not having to cut down my own trees, because I am an ass like that. Uh, so anyway, that is that. Let me just check here. Did I have any iron in this? No. And not enough to do another load. Alright, so let's show you what we got done in the meantime. You probably kind of saw it in the corner of your eye. Welcome to the storage room. And welcome to the deep tank, which can hold a lot of a particular fluid. This probably holds about, I'd say, 500 or so ingots of iron. Uh, I got 200 in there, and at any given time can pour it out if I need it. But I'm stockpiling iron because I have the strangest feeling we're going to need a bunch of it in the quests to come. That's a birch seed. seeds. I also uh, threw some dirt through our sifting system just to fill up barrels and whatnot. So here we have basically just all of our sifting stuff coming down into here. Since it's based on what's closest, it goes out basically to whatever's closest. And there's a three gap there, uh, which gets in the way, which I could probably cut out if I was creative enough, but I don't really care. Yeah, because even if I put that there, it'd still be there. So let me get back onto the inside here. So the deep tank was in and of itself a quest that we had to do, so let's get that done. Start just learning the sky block, and that was automatic, we built the aqueous accumulator. Now that was part of steel powered, which, let's claim. Now we still need to make the steel armor, which is going to be fairly easy and something based on steam. Steam turbines and housings. Um, I'll read that in a second. Turbine glass, reactor glass. Also figure out how to make those eventually. I want to make that, but we can't do that quite yet. For the hoarding, we need to just build these things, which require two more barrels and some wood. But like I said, kind of lazy. And here, this is the one that I want to focus on today that and I'm gonna actually plant some rubber trees because this one uh, plastics a key component creating the machines I'll need for farming and automation on the map rubber seeds can be gotten by sieving dirt or if I would prefer can craft rubber something by combining a slime ball and any sapling process the rubber from these trees into plastic to start your step towards farming and automation so what we're going to do is we're going to turn down that music because damn that is loud I wonder if I have to keep turning my volume down. These are our rubber. I'm gonna plant seven of them, just leave one there so that it doesn't get they don't get lost. Let's also open this. Something cool. Something cool. Bees. Yeah, I like bees. Bees are chill. Yeah, so we've torn out all the oak. Let's pop in some rubber. Yeah, dun, 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 dun. let's put the bees in not here. Uh, dun, 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 dun. 
Let's throw them here. Those are going to be good for starting bees and trees later. So I'm not going to complain. Yeah, we got a full heart last episode as well. Or just after last episode, after I completed the Equius Accumulator. Which I kind of want to use to make an automatic obsidian farm for my tools. Like, I've... I mastered Hatchet, and I had some modifier spaces on it, so I threw on some auto repair. I don't intend to keep the obsidian tools, but for now, they are half decent. Alright, so let's plant some of these rubber saplings. Let's see how big these grow, what they do, etc, etc. Okay. Two... Still oak growing there, so we'll wait for that. And let's go to the corner here. And the opposite corner. Here. And then here. Here. And there. Okay, so there we go. Those will grow in time. Correct, we have a ton of bones. We could always cheat the system. Yeah, I'm for cheating the system today. I'm feeling particularly lazy. Alright, so let's go get some bone meal. We'll work on rubber. You shall just take these. Let's see what these trees look like when they grow. Probably should have done the first one here. Okay. Tap. Tap. Okay, so they look fairly standard, it looks like. Rubber leaves are their own thing. We get raw rubber and the uh, the wood type from them. Okay. Though, let's make one of these. To see if we can get a couple of extra saplings from these. Now, I'm not sure if these mods coincide or work together, but... If nothing else is breaking the leaves anyway. Okay, come on. Cut me some slack. One sapling. There we go. Alright. Cool. So we got rubber, we got one sapling, which I guess we'll replant. And how much do we need for this quest? Oh, we actually need the plastic sheets. Well, damn. Alright, so then, how do we make the plastic sheets? For raw plastic? Just from melting a rubber bar? just from cooking raw rubber. Okay. Simple enough. Let's get another tree, see if we can't get some s more saplings or whatnot, because we're going to need a bit more anyway. There we go, there's another sapling. Two saplings, there we are. Now we're getting somewhere. Time to grow plastic. Alright. Oh yeah, we got plenty of saplings from this one. So the tree of the day is rubber. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. All right, let's plant that down. I've seen that uh, plastic in a couple of different recipes, so it's good we're getting this now. Yeah, working towards automation, towards not having to give a damn about anything, anytime. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess I've got silkworms. Perfect, sapling. Woo. 
It's a really ugly looking wood though, I gotta say. I'm not sure how I feel about this off orange color. Whoop. Get that back. Okay. Alright, how many do we get? We got five. Five's good. Alright, let's take a nap. Rest off the night. Yeah. Okay, so we need four of the whatnot. So, first things first, we need to just pop two worth in there. Get some rubber bars. So there was, there was this. Basically, I had to cook this stuff twice. Put that in there and just recycle it over when we're done. Alright. So, we're producing plastic. We only need technically one, but we're gonna make four. Alright, what else is in here that we can get done? I want to finish off as much of this as possible, because that's our final goal. Fungus Among Us. Uh, ancient spores. We have some ancient spores. Um, so... Mushrooms will spawn with mycelium. Sand in a barrel of witch water will give soul sand. Let's... Hmm. I wonder if I can... Just trying to think. Uh, do I want... To put mycelium in its own spot? Let me see here. Map. Uh, details. Solid overlay. I don't think any of those are a mushroom biome. Hmm. Got a lot of river. Yeah, what's this? This is probably plains, if I'm correct. Yep, yeah, plains. Um, not far enough to go into that, but I think it's swamp. This is river. We're going to be moving through into jungle. Nope, forest. And then there is, I think the far tree is plains again, and one down here is taiga? No, oh, no, swampland. Yes, this is all swamp going out that way. Okay. So yeah, no. Hmm. F3. Get that out of there. So, we have that underway. What else can we do? That one's, gonna, that one's fairly simple. Uh, pastoral life, we need a spawn squid and a spawn chicken. How do we get a spawn squid? Spawn... Squid. Doesn't tell me at all how to make it. Spawn chicken. It requires a blood altar. Um, don't think that's how we ha how we're trying to do that. Any luck on passive uh, crafting recipes have been added for making the various mobs you need in journey. Passive player on hand items or fluids. You can also use the quest delivery system to submit item and fluids. I thought the spawning chicken was supposed to involve arrows. Uh, Spawn chicken. Yep. Nothing on how to. It's one of those days. Okay, so I guess that one's not happening unless we make a blood altar for some strange reason. This is stuff all that's next to useless if you can make a blood altar, though. Must go deeper. Yeah, for this I need to build an auto-brewer. 
Nether has many ores and other resources you can collect at home. Yeah, but my unsavory character is a friendly map creator recommends large numbers of potions if you plan to head into the depths. Really visit at least once to fully experience the joys of the map. Please note that you do not have to go to the nether. The map can be completed without ever entering the nether. An angry doll will spawn a blaze if you right click a stone barrel of lava while holding a doll. Okay. Well, I would like to go to the nether at some point. It's, uh, not exactly my favorite place, but it is a place I would like to go when we're a little more prepared. Get some myan myelin. Um, so that's all those ones. This one, though, the steam dynamo. Let me just read that out. Unpowered automation, while good for the environment, is not going to be enough to progress through the map. You will need to supply power to machines to continue much further. RF is an EG energy system for this pack. All the machines except forestry will run off the RF. Forestry machines will be conduit to convert RF to MJ. MFR has bioreactors that can bio generals with fuel. Bioreactors, most efficient with what when fed nine different types of plantable saplings or seeds. Generators from extra utilities open up multiple fuel options including TNT, food, and potions, TE3. Uh, adds dynamos that run on water, solid fuels, lava, and other options. Many fluids in this pack can be turned into power with a reactant dynamo. The simplest option to start with though is to make a steam is, not supposed to be it, to make a steam dynamo and give it cater and a burnable fuel. I'm assuming water and a burnable f fuel. So let's go steam dynamo. How do we make this thing? Uh, some copper ingots, a redstone transmission coil, and some copper gears. So silver and some redstone. That's uh, easy enough. And copper gear is just a plus sign of copper. All right. Copper. We need two gears. One, two, and what else do we need? Two pieces of, three pieces of redstone and one silver. Do I actually have any silver done? Invar, I have never cooked silver. Well, no time like the present. Give me some silver. So that'll take a little bit. In the meantime, let's go get the redstone for the steam dynamo. And I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna have to figure out a place to put the steam dynamo. I want a place where I can liquiduct water into it and pump, uh, you know, fuel into it. So probably from here or so. We shall see. I think I only needed three. Yeah, well. Silver should be done by now. Da, da, da. Yep, molten silver. Alright, we only technically need one ingot right now, so that should be fine. Let's put you back in. Multitasking. Alright, so let's build this thing. Just like that. And then like that, and like that. So there we go, we have this steam dynamo. Which means powered processing. Pulverizers can process cobble to gravel, gravel to sand, sand to dust, allowing you to more easily automate the ore production for your material needs. All it takes is a little power to run. Okay, so basically I could remove the hammer concept out of my, uh, my current system. And you get a cool hammer. Alright, and how do I make... I know the pulverizer requires plastic sheets because I've been looking at it a couple of times. Pulverizer. Two copper, two flint, reception coil, I need a piston and a frame. Okay. Wait, what was it? Two flint, two copper, this coil which requires gold. And I have a couple of frames on standby, so that's not a problem. Let's grab a bit more redstone. There we go, ten or so should do. 
and I needed two flint. No, 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 no. Okay, so let's build this coil. This coil requires two redstone, a gold. And that's fine. Need to make a piston, which is going to require that. Some iron, some more redstone, that and that. So that goes there, that goes there, those go there, one of my machine frames goes there, and some copper goes there. Awesome. So, let's take the middle one. Now we can't go this way yet, we need to get rubbery first. Which shouldn't be too much longer, actually. Let's grab it up here. Yeah, raw plastic. Which I have nowhere to put. Um, piece of heart. No! Ah, fuck. Why did you do this to me, piece of heart? Let's turn biomes off for now. Piece of heart should be arriving down here somewhere. Uh, Fortune 3 hammer. Interesting. It's gonna be my new standard hammer. Crappy hammer can go because I need somewhere to put heart anyway. Goodbye, crappy hammer. No! Why did you betray me? Heart, where did you go? Or can you not be put in barrels and you got stuck in the hopper? Doo, doo, doo. All right, let's check this out. No, it's in the system somewhere. But where did it go? There it is. Continuing to three quarters of heart. Now let's go into our main hut. I'm going to cu cut down those rubber trees later. Sleep. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Grab that. Make another heart. It's a full heart, not a bad one. Apparently you can get bad hearts, so you got to watch out for that. Alright. Now... Let's make some plastic. Oh my god, there's a lot of plastic. We're not going to have room. Oh wait, no, we might. Let's take the one on the right. We have two good bags and a greater bag. Oh. Hello. I like you, greater bag. Alright, let's put that in there. Do I have any other crisps? Or quest rewards that I want to toss in here. Um, not really. I need those for now. Okay, let's go toss away. Or put away for now. Put the oak wood away. We'll use rubber wood for now. Um, I'm going to need most of this stuff shortly, but we'll open the bags and then we'll call it an episode. And then I will work on my own for a bit. So, we'll figure out a place where we add our machinery. Because I like this area for storage, and I might add some extra walls or whatnot. But this is more Tinker's Construct base. Tinker's Construct and X-Nilo. Um, I'll probably fill all these with things eventually. Let's put some of this stuff away. Because I need room to put these bag rewards. Hopefully we get something cool. So let's put everything back away. Copper can go in there. And we will throw these machine bits in there as well with the aqueous accumulator. Um, plastic can qualify under this as well. Um, we'll keep the rubber for now. 
throw that there. Those there. Let's get back to our main chests. I also want to run a pipeline for items to uh, the, from the mob farm to here. Which I will do when I feel less in danger of losing stuff. Um, bone meal is actually a thing there. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Apologize, you don't need to see me organizing, but... I am OCD like that. Just throw that in there as well. There should be plenty of room. Alright. Good bag number one. A regular hammer. Or was it? Reinforced two. Mining level of myelin. Cobalt. For repair material. It's got 18,000 durability. A bonus versus undead. So it's a weapon. Oh, okay. So it's a Tinkerer's Construct hammer. With three modifiers. I can just toss some. I'm going to use that. A cake. Which is a lie. Nom, 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 nom. Eat the failure. And the greater. Okay, but now I already have this sword. Lame. Lame sword. <sighs> Toss away lame sword. It's Thomic, so it, it gets that going for it, but I already have the sword of splintering, unfortunately. Uh, so, into the generic tool chest it goes. I like this hammer. Million rod. Hmm. It's got three modifiers remaining. I want to use that when we go into the nether because it saves me from building something. Let's do this now. There we go. But we'll put it away for now because we don't need to accidentally lose it doing something stupid. And the Fortune 3 hammer. All right, so we've got some more stuff that we now get to do, uh, namely finding a place to put our factories. Um, you know, this middle area here might actually do. It's been worrying me a lot that we have a giant hole in the middle of everything anyway, making it into a factory of some sort or, you know, a power generator. I kind of had the idea, especially if we're using steam and whatnot, to kind of make the look of an old generator, like running off of the river. Anyway, I'll do that in my own time. Till next time, this is Isaac Zephyr, signing out, and I will see you all later, heroes.